terracotta soldiers. In China, in the city of Xi'an, come find the terracotta soldiers. Whoa! That's a lot of clay soldiers! Thousands were found under the ground by farmers digging a well. Wow! Last time I dug in the garden, all I found was a smelly old boot. They're over 2,000 years old. As well as thousands of soldiers, they also found clay horses, too. They're like a whole army. Why were they made? The first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, wanted them to look after him after he died. And they remained there until they were dug up about 50 years ago. <gasps> The soldiers are all different from one another. When they were made, they may have been colorful, like this. But the paint has worn away over time. Whoa, that would have been a colorful sight. I'm going to keep digging. You never know what you might find one day. Feeding time. We're landing in Rome, Italy, where we'll find the Colosseum. Wow, that building looks old. That's the Roman Colosseum. It's almost 2,000 years old. That must be why it's fallen apart. Over time, it's been damaged by weather, fire, and earthquakes. It looks like it could be a football stadium. It wasn't built for football, but the ruler in Rome did build the Colosseum for other sporting events, including horse races and gladiator fights. What's a gladiator? A gladiator is a person who fights other people or even animals to entertain others. Wow, are those ships in the Colosseum? Uh-huh. They flood the Colosseum with water, then bring in boats to battle. After, the water could be drained. And it went back to normal. Huh? Even though the stadiums were a bit like ours, Roman sports were very, very different. Now, let's test your... The London Eye. We are traveling to England to see the London Eye. We are here to see an eye? <laughs> kind of. Take a look. Whoa! That's the London Eye! Uh-huh. It's a giant Ferris wheel that turns day and night. Hey! There are people inside those, uh... They're capsules, Chester. They carry people high up over the city. To get a bird's eye view of London. There's Big Ben! and the Houses of Parliament. How did they manage to get the wheel to stand up like that? The eye was put together over the River Thames and then hauled up into place. When the London Eye was built, it was the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. It's not the biggest anymore, but it still gives you a great view of London. I'm off to get a ticket so I can eye London from the eye. Let's write London. The P 
Panama Canal. Welcome to Panama and the Panama Canal. Marco. Hi. I have a problem for you to solve. Cool. I love solving problems. Look at this map. How can you get these ships in the Pacific Ocean to sail here in the Atlantic Ocean? I think the ships need to sail a long time to travel around South America and back up. <gasps> Could the ships go through here? Great problem solving, Marco. About 100 years ago, engineers built a canal that cut through Panama so ships could sail between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Panama Canal. The Panama Canal must have made the trip much quicker. And much cheaper for ships like these to reach their destinations. Oh, I see how the canal works. The ships go through locks, floating them up and down to make a shortcut that connects two oceans. The Panama Canal is really one of the wonders of the world. Let's write Panama. Let's write Panama. Let's spell Panama. P, 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 M, A, 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 N, Panama. 